Welcome back everyone to a booster pack sale. So I usually do these kinds of videos every few months or so, just updating people on the packs I do have available for sale, and uh, I can't remember the last time I've done one of these. Um, there's just been so much going on the last few months, and uh, with new projects and things underway, I completely, I, I've been just kind of hoarding these packs, and uh, they've just been sitting around in boxes, and it was only until I kind of dug them all out that I realized how much I had and needed to get rid of. Um, so, uh, let's dive in. For everything is sealed, everything has not been weighed, searched, scaled, none of that. Um, as far as sources go, um, pretty much everything you see is judge related. Um, most of the stuff I get, you know, I, I judge a pre-release or, well, pre-release packs I usually open. Um, but judging other tournaments, cities, states, regionals, um, like this booster box of Primal Clash and the 12 packs of Primal Clash on top of it are from my judging at states. But there were just only two cards I think I needed at the time to complete the set. So really wasn't worth opening up um, all this stuff. So, um... Those are available. Um, the only other other packs that are not from uh, Judge product are these. Um, these Magnazone poster boxes. Um, each one comes with a Magnazone card, two Pop 8 packs, and two Platinum packs, and a poster. Um, I can sell the box. I believe they're like 10 bucks each or something like that. Um, but I've found that most of the time, people are more interested in just the packs. So I have opened up a bunch of these and just broken them down and been selling things individually. So I have plenty of Pop 8 packs and plenty of Platinum packs. This is just a handful. I have uh, boxes and boxes of them in the closet. Um, right now, all booster packs are $3 each plus shipping, except for the Pop 8 packs, which are $1.50. Um... I usually do not trade packs for cards, however, I've been considering changing that up. Um, especially in the cases of the Platinum and the Pop 8 packs, the only, uh, I guess, extra rules would just be that, um, you know, we're, we, I would only do, uh, consider it for ultra rare cards. Um, and, and there would have to be something where we would have to take an, an into shipping cost into consideration. Obviously, it's going to cost more to ship a, several booster packs than it is to ship a single card. I want to make sure everything's fair. Um, and, and right now, I'm just looking at doing that maybe with the older packs. And of course, these are cards from my once list as well. But I am going to take every situation individually. So um, we'll just put that out there as a thought. But not necessarily, you know, this, I, I for sure am going to, I, I'm, I'm worried more about people offering um, the really cheap EXs, you know, that I, you could pick up for five bucks and, and wanting, you know, three or four packs for them, you know, stuff like that. It just makes things too complicated. It's, it, and that's not going to, it's going to instigate more arguments than anything. So, on to the rest of the packs. Um, well, other stuff. Uh, I do have a Crooked Isle theme deck. I think I've been asking, like, $10 shipped. So, including the shipping costs anywhere within the U.S. Uh, could probably go down a few bucks on that if anyone's interested on it. Uh, in it, sorry. Uh, so, for the rest of the booster packs that you see in front of you. Um, oh, and there is an updated list on my website of updated quantities, prices, in case you forgot. Um, the, that's all up there as well. One Plasma Blast. Four flash fire. I think those are actually left over from last year's nationals or last year's worlds, maybe. I think. <laughs> um, legendary treasures. I think these are left over from last year's like 2014 cities, maybe even the year before that. Um, yeah, been hanging on to these for quite a while. Uh, I think I've got ten legendary treasures packs. Yeah, ten of these. Furious Fists, uh, I think I've got 18, no, sorry, 13 Furious Fists, and Phantom Forces, 18. Um, yeah, that's about right, 18 packs. So, as you can see, most things are in quantities of, you know, 12, 18, you know, quarter box, half box, third of a box, you know, something like that. Uh, like I said, all packs, not scaled, weighed, tampered with, still original factory sealed, Everything except the Platinum and Pop 8 packs, which come from these sealed Magnazone promo boxes, were all judge materials, so there's no chance that someone weighed them, tampered with them, before I got them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I accept cash money, order PayPal. Again, I am 
opening up more to the idea of trading packs away for ultra rares that I need, but again, that's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis, and um, if I have too many people just trying to rip me off, um, and I can't tell you how many offers I've had of that, that were just, you know, give me 10 packs and I'll give you a $5 card type of thing, um, or I'll just end it completely. Um, the Primal Clash box itself, I, I would really prefer just to sell the packs individually. Um, I'll take offers on the box, but again, you know, um, I usually don't have a problem selling packs, uh, you know, around $3 each. So I'm, you know, not really interested in breaking up the box to, to take less of a profit from there. Um, and I say profit, but of course, every penny that is, that comes from this go straight back into the channel, into Japanese openings, into buying product for new sets, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, I think that covers just about everything. I'll probably be going through some other things that are, are lying around and doing some other random sale videos from time to time, but we will still be keeping up with the openings every single weekend. I will be opening up something, whether it's something new in stores, blisters, booster boxes, tins. If there's nothing released, gonna throw in a Japanese uh, opening. So, like I said, all that stuff, still good to go. Um, lots coming up, and hope everyone stays tuned.